Now to the sweltering and potentially dangerous heat we are seeing around here. We have not seen temperatures like this all year. And on the heels of this summer scorcher is a stretch of storms. We have team coverage for you. Let's begin in the Weather Center with Lonnie Quinn. Lonnie. All right, I want to get right to it then. Here's your picture outside right now. So it's a pretty good looking sky, hot and humid. 91 degrees right now. You factor in the humid part, 91 feels like 96 degrees right now the hottest day of our year a little bit hotter warmer a little bit hotter earlier in the day central park maxed out at 92 degrees we haven't hit 92 since september of last year warmest reading i had anywhere in our area south orange hit 95 today flushing new york was 93 tenafly 93 woodmere new york also 92 degrees now what is going on all right this summer the pattern with the jet stream has just been so abnormal we've been right along the fringe of that jet stream all summer long so we've had kind of like well certainly a uh, cooler than average summer. Typically, this little dip here would be a big ridge and you'd fill up with all this warm southerly air. Well, we are now starting to tap into a little bit of that ridge pattern. So some of that southerly air making its way into our area. It is hot out there. And I'll tell you, I do see a chance from some storms to kick in tonight. Right now, severe thunderstorm warnings are in effect west of our area. I think that chance is going to be a little bit more prevalent for us later on tonight. What that's going to do, it's going to take the humidity away. Is it going to take the heat away? That's something that you and I got to talk about a little bit later because it's quite a forecast for the work week. Christine, let's go back to you right now. All right, Lonnie. And speaking of heat, this late summer warm up, exciting for some people out there. Others, though, not so happy as they try to stay cool. CBS 2's Elise Finch is with the Mobile Weather Lab on the Upper West Side where she's actually handing out water to people to help beat this heat. Are you taking some for yourself as well, I hope, Elise? <laughs> You know what, I did a little bit earlier, Christine, because I got to tell you, even though officially it's a little bit cooler here in New York, I mean, take a look here at the back of the mobile weather lab, still giving us a reading of 92 degrees. When you factor in the humidity, 98 degrees is basically what it feels like. So yeah, people have been very happy to get a little bit of cold water from us. In fact, they're appreciative of anything that helps them stay cool today. Sprinklers were the way these parents chose to cool off their kids today. Latik Holder said he didn't want to keep his four-year-old daughter inside. If you're staying indoors, then you're sitting under the AC and, you know, you're not really active. It's not giving her an opportunity to interact with other kids. A post-Labor Day spike in temperatures brought us the hottest day of the year, and some people couldn't be happier. I felt like we were shortchanged. I, I would have liked this back in June. But not everyone agrees. I loved the way the summer was. It was comfortable. It was still warm enough for going swimming. There are plenty of people who are less than thrilled that we're experiencing the dog days of summer in September. I can't stand it. Why? Because to me, like I love a 65, 70 degree day. I'm dying right now. This is my first day on my new new job too. So it was like I started work and you know having to wear a suit and come to the office. So very difficult for a first day. I'm expecting this weather in early August. Now it's September. I'm, I'm ready for it to cool off. One man said he's fine with late summer heat, but the humidity, not so much. The humidity makes you sweat and you feel like you're walking through a sauna. That's my biggest problem with it. It's a little tiring and you got to drink like gallons of water. Peter. So I have to tell you, people, we are handing out water here. So we've got the CBS2 team out handing out cold water. People are very happy to have it. You will need to keep your own water supply handy, though, as you head through this week, because this September warm-up is basically going to stick around through the end of the work week. We are live on the Upper West Side with the Mobile Weather Lab. And with that, I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Elise, we'll do keep an eye on the forecast anywhere at any time with the CBS2 weather app. Check live radar and get any alerts. It's free on iTunes. No,